Okie dokie, it is 8.51 PST, which is 11.51 EST on beautiful and finally rainy Thursday here in Southern California on February 27th. Let's recap, let's see what's happening in the markets and what we had accomplished in the months of February. This is again picture perfect reminder of the importance of knowing where this very very critical Fibonacci levels are. Let's recap what transpired on S&P in the last few days. S&P had staged very powerful collapse, reversing first time price came from reversal zone, reminding you how critical this level is in the market structure. And all you need is pure price for entry to identify where to take profits of the table and where to expect reversal. What has price done second time on S&P 1 hour? Price came to reversal zone 2 and bounce played out. Price becomes so 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 tired hasn't been able to break through decision point 1. Oh no, the end of the minor trend is reached and price collapsed completely only to stage massive reversal from reversal zone 3. That's how we trade pure price for entry and Fibonacci for exit. Each and every trade based of this very, very critical levels. Four rules, entry, stop and target. Precise, pure and simple. No speculation. Simplicity and clarity is the key. So what have we accomplished on S&P so far this month? Here it is, 25 trades total, 22 trades reached first, second and third target, only 3 negative trades. What are those negative trades? Oh no, is it possible? Absolutely! If I'm stuck in trading room during corrective structure or counter trend structure, which had been the case on oil in the last 2 hours, I'll take a trade and I'll spell out it's an aggressive trade. There we go! 25 trades only during trading room hours. If you know how to trade pure price, you can certainly not babysit the corrections and trade outside of trading room hours, therefore trading drastically more conservative and powerful trades. Because you know to walk away from computer if price stuck in correction. What has S&P done on larger time frames? Let's review. S&P monthly after staging the most powerful bearish structure we had seen since 2010 had found the buyers. What is S&P had done when it reached decision point one? Know your levels. That's how price moves. It doesn't matter if it's range charts, monthly, weekly. Rank or schmenko, whatever it is, price moves in exact same sequence. I expect price to find a bit of a pause at massive historical numbers, 1900, 2000, and make it all the way to 21, 22. But tomorrow is the most critical day we had seen on S&P since 2010. What will S&P do tomorrow? Will serious selling pressure pick up the steam? Very, very important and very, very critical. So if you are trading on Friday, which is not what I recommend, be prepared for very powerful action tomorrow. We'll review that in the wave class. What has S&P had done on daily? On daily, all the levels drawn since January 2000, 13. Reminding you the importance of these levels. When S&P collapsed to decision point 1, it found the buyers. When S&P came to decision point 1, 2, the upside, it found the sellers. That's how price moves. Doesn't matter if it's monthly, weekly, range charts, or forex stocks or options. What is the next level on S&P if S&P succeeds tomorrow to blast through ultimate highs? S&P is heading to 18.77 and a quarter, 1900, 19.31.50. What time frame do you trade? Choice is yours. 
Let's take a look on oil. This is a summary of the trades we completed in the trading room on oil as oil continues to be very, very slow and very, very unlike oil. Oil assumed personality of S&P and S&P is clearly drastically more volatile than oil. Let's take a look at what happened on oil this week. And I'm so excited to review it in tomorrow's wave class. Know your levels. Oil hourly, which is exactly what we use in our day trading room, struggled after reaching decision point one. I spelled out yesterday before we came to the news. Don't expect a lot of action and layout of reaction because oil is so close to reversal zone. We had taken too long trades on oil here, but we knew to be excited about short, 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 short. Sellers did not pick up the steam during trading room hours. They picked up the steam later and certainly pre-market open this morning. So when I hear that our students had taken this 100 tick right pre-market, that's music to my ears. That's a reminder, remain conservative and selective and enjoy the inception of the trend if you know where reversal zone is. We were here in the room trading counter trend. Ouch! Sluggish, smuggish, we knew to respect this level as we know to trade only between the levels, never into the levels. Let's take a look and let's remember what oil had staged on weekly very powerful bullish rally, all the levels drawn since October 2013, reminding you if you're trading options, if you position trading oil, check the profits of the table of price came to decision point two. I spelled out weeks and months ago that oil will highly continue to 106. This remain intact, but this bullish rally is overextended and I expect pullback at any moment. After the pullback, oil will continue drastically higher, but the power of pullback is what's very, very critical. And just a reminder, I always receive emails and questions about Apple. Apple steel, apple schmapple, monthly never broke through decision point one. This is another confirmation. If you know how price moves, you can trade any instrument and any time frame. If you know how price moves, you remain conservative and selective and you achieve even better results than what we do in our day trading room. That's all there is. Pure price for entry and Fibonacci for exits. 26 trades on oil, 21 trade reached first, second target. Volatility clearly is not as high as S&P. Only 19 trades made to reversal zone. Between combination of aggressive and conservative trades, only 5 trades were negative. Again, I'm trading aggressively and conservatively as witnessed today when I had taken aggressive counter trend bullish trade. Look forward to seeing you on Monday and in the wave class tomorrow. Danny will be here tomorrow. I don't trade on Fridays. Love you guys to pieces. Have a phenomenal weekend. I'm always, always, always and forever open for your questions, comments and any kind of things you'd like to share. Info at alphawavetrader.com. Adios, das vidanya, ciao, kapao, thank you.